I thought I was going to be a veterinarian. My father died when I was nine, and I really didn't have any, any role models in my family to guide me on how I was going to uh, spend the rest of my life. So I had an older cousin, and he was sort of my mentor. And uh, I told him I wanted to be a veterinarian, and, and he said, well, you know, you don't have any money. You can't be a veterinarian. It takes thousands of dollars to open a veterinary office, so you, you might as well just give up that idea. I would go to uh, basketball games in high school at Durham High. I enjoyed the basketball games, but I, I really enjoyed looking at the structure of the gymnasium. And I was fascinated by these huge steel trusses that supported this large roof in the gymnasium. And I would I'd, I'd spend the, the two hours just looking at the structure and trying to figure out how it, how it worked. Yeah, I'm Taylor Barnhill. I'm uh, the lead investigator for the Appalachian Barn Alliance. Uh, and I do that as much as uh, 20 hours a week uh, for the Appalachian Barn Alliance. And that job uh, is comprised of finding these uh, historic barns around Madison County here in the mountains and <clears throat> identifying uh, which ones are more at risk of being lost Many of them are, are neglected and, and are being allowed to uh, deteriorate. So we were hoping to document as many of our local barns as we could uh, before they disappear. And that's the, the mission of the Appalachian Barn Alliance. Of course, most of the generation that knew these barns and this heritage uh, are no longer around. Um, and so we have a, a younger generation now of folks that um, if they remember you know stories about family farms and barns and that kind of thing we're fortunate but uh, there's just few of those folks available but when you do find the right people it's a wonderful experience because they they love talking about their family they love talking about the history and they also learn about the history of their barns from me and the people I work with and now they're also these uh, salvage barn wood companies popping up everywhere. Asheville has at least three and they buy up this old barn wood and they sell it for new construction, big multi-million dollar homes using the old wood. Unfortunately, a lot of the barns are being torn down before we are able to document them and know really what their historical value is. I felt confident saying that we have, you know, over 20,000 barns in the county, uh, but uh, most people don't believe it uh, unless they get out and start driving the roads and start counting the barns. And so we just tell people, yeah, we've got about 10,000 barns in the county.